So on the 21st of August of 2018, it was announced that Stephen Cole Stephenson was pronounced dead due to bile duct cancer. And this has made me and a lot of other people really sad. So I just wanted to make this video today to let us all remember the great work this person has done and how great of a person he really was. Stefan was born on the 10th of July 1975 and died at the age of 43. He had a wife, three daughters and one son. During his early days at around the age of 19, he worked as a puppeteer and was studying at the Drama Academy of Iceland and this is something he was clearly passionate about. He was told by his principal at high school that acting is not about making faces and changing your face, in which obviously he highly disagreed with and totally ignored his advice, as we've all seen with his portrayal as Robbie Rotten in the kids TV show Lazy Town. He played the main villain of that show with all the charisma that we've all seen on the internet and on the show itself. You could tell that he was so passionate about what he did and his portrayal as this character in the show. He was absolutely in his role and was proving his point that acting can be about making silly faces and just having fun with what you are doing. There is no strict guideline when it comes to acting. He played Robbie Rotten for around 62 episodes of Lazy Town, but he's also done other gigs and TV shows, and he even provided voice work for the game For Honor. But then sad times arrived, and in 2016, he was diagnosed with bile duct cancer. And that is, of course, what led to the memes of the internet. Everybody knows the We Are Number One song, and that is because of this campaign right here. He set up a GoFundMe page to help with his therapy and everything, so everybody wanted to help out by making memes by, at this point, iconic song that you will never get stuck out of your head after listening to it. It's probably the best internet meme that has ever come out, and it never gets old. So much, in fact, that the official Lazy Town YouTube channel started promoting these memes, making their own versions of the meme, which, of course, everybody was on board with. But in 2018, this cancer became fatal. Nothing more could be done about it. And it was at this point where Stefan started shutting down all of his social media accounts. And then that leads us to today. Stefan was pronounced dead on the 21st of August 2018 and this has really gotten me down and I feel like it's my duty to make this video and to remember the great work this man has done for everyone. But there's a silver lining to this. It was pronounced by Cheryl Edison, Stefan's manager, that in 2019 the Stefan Carl Academy and Centre for the Performing Arts will be launching to commemorate everything Stefan has done for everyone. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend I have a personal history with Stefan. I really don't, but I definitely watched Lazy Town. Not that much, but I watched it as a kid, and then recently seen the whole GoFundMe page, the fact he got diagnosed with cancer, the whole We On Number One meme. Watching videos of him made me realise how genuinely cool of a person he really was. He was one of the nicest people I think I've seen on the internet. He went back and recreated the We On Number One song, he just seemed so nice, he seemed so loving to his family and to all of his fans, he just seemed genuinely cool. And that's what makes this so heartbreaking for me today. It's just such a sad time, but I'm sure he wouldn't want us to be this sad. I'm sure he would want us to live on his legacy, keep on doing what we want to do, don't get down, pride his memory, and just keep being happy. Keep making people happy, make them smile. I feel like that's what he would have wanted. So let's not go and be upset about all of this. Let's commemorate everything Stefan has done for us all and keep on spreading the good word. That's pretty much everything I've got to say on this whole situation. Rest in peace, Stefan. You'll be sorely missed.